All righty, guys. We'll make a start. So make sure you've got your foam roller. Uh, make sure you've got your resistance band, your mini band. Foam roller, mini band. We're going to start with the foam roller, so we'll start with our mobility as always. Can everyone give me a thumbs up if they can hear me okay? I'll give you a thumbs up. Yep. Cody, did you have a question? I can see you had your hands up. You're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, sweet. Okay, so ankle mobility. Again, you guys can use a couch or the wall. I'm using my foam roller down here. I'll just tilt my camera down a little bit. And we're just doing our, uh, we're doing our gentle sort of knee touches. Our foot, our big toes about 10 centimeters back. Sammy, if you're done with broad jumps, mate, you're on, oh, sorry. If you're done with skated jumps, you're on just skipping. Yeah, do those six sets of 60 or? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, do the full, do the full, um, full workload today for skipping. Right. Today, an overload. Everyone yeah. else, the ankle mobility. Thanks. No worries, mate, get into it. We're just touching that knee to our foam roller. Just gently keeping that heel on the ground if possible. Heel to the ground, toes about 10 centimeters away. Good job. You can use your hand on your knee for a little bit of extra force if you need it. All right, and we're into our hip mobility. So we're coming down into our into our Spider-Man squat. <clears throat> so again, arms are up overhead. You go down, bend at the hips. So we're touching our toes. If you need to bend your knees to touch your toes, that's okay. Come down, hands underneath your toes, both hands, and we come down into a nice deep squat. Well, let's just sort of sit around in this position for a second. You can shift your weight from like side to side. That's gonna that's gonna give you a little bit of an opening in each hip. I'm gonna rock from side to side a little bit. A little bit tight today. Okay, and now I'm gonna just apply some gentle pressure with my elbows on the inside of my knees. So I'm just gonna gently press out and I might use my knees to push back against my elbows just to create a little bit of tension, start that activation process. From here, I'm gonna keep my left hand under my left foot and I'm gonna turn and twist my right arm up to the sky and look up. Control your breathing here. Come back down, right hand under your right foot. And turn and face up to your left. Use that right elbow to press in on your right knee and just create a little bit of tension to help you rotate a little further. Come back down, unclasp, or sorry, stand up first. So you sort of sit your hips back up so you get another little hamstring stretch. And then we're standing up straight. All right, so today uh, we've got our acceleration, so speed and power. Chuck our band on, we're gonna do our band circuit, a little mobility, uh, sorry, activation circuit with our, with our mini bands. We've got our crab walks to start with, so chuck your band around your ankles. <coughs> so guys, this week's a bit of an overload week. All right, so hopefully you guys can see, uh, if not on the main screen, the main screen might be me now because I've spotlighted myself, but on one of the screens, you should be able to see the program. I've shared the screen with my other device and you'll be able to see week three to the far right of the screen there. That's the, that's the workout we're doing, so. The program's still spotlighted. The program is, yeah. All right, let me see if I can take that off. Thanks, Luke. Stop the screen share. Now it should be me, hopefully. I should do yeah. this. Uh, let me know if anyone needs to see the program. You shouldn't really need to see it though. You should be okay. I'll, I'll take you guys through it. Let's start the crab walks, guys. So we're going to go to 10 total. So I'm going on five to my right. You guys might have already done them. That's okay. Do two sets. Five back to my left. Up straight. 
come down again. Make sure we're bending our knees, standing down nice and low, working against that resistance, not letting not letting the band just fling our feet together like that. Okay, we don't want to just see any uncontrolled movement. That's the whole point: is that the band creates that tension for our muscles to work against. All right. Then from there, we're into our jab steps. Okay, so we're forward on about a 45 degree angle. So if I've got a nice solid base here, okay, my feet are about hip distance apart, and I'm just jabbing out to my right at about a 45 degree angle. Okay, I'm coming down into a nice sort of a lunge position. We're doing 10 of those, okay? We're really warming up the muscles of our lower body here, pretending like I'm ripping, ripping the ball through from hip to hip. 10 on each leg. Good job, guys. <coughs> That's good. That's good. Keeping it nice and sharp, working against the resistance of the band, getting down nice and low. Get down nice and low. Sit into that forward leg. Push off that back toe. Come into a nice takeoff position. Good job. Once we've done 10 of those on each leg, we've got our kickbacks. So again, we're in a, a bit of a hip bend and a knee bend, and we're just jabbing that foot straight back. We're straightening that leg out, and we're squeezing that glute. Okay, so this is my right leg. Kick back, squeeze that right glute. We're doing 10 on either leg. So again, I'm in, I'm in almost like a sprinting position. So I'm in almost a takeoff position here, and I kick that leg back. Make sure I keep my back straight. <clears throat> Left leg now. Here we go. So again, I'm down in that sprinter stance. Like so. Great work. All right, hands off. Hands off, we're into our acceleration, deceleration. Acceleration, deceleration. So, we're going to do two sets of six today. Two sets of six. We want between 12 and 15 reps. So, again, we start back here. Remember, if I've got my right leg back, I've got my right arm up and my left arm back. All right, so as I take off, I swing through right knee, left arm. Okay, so I start right leg back, right arm forward. As I take off, so I'm down nice and low. As I take off, I swing right leg and left arm through to take off, to propel myself forward. You only need to take a couple of steps and then we're coming into that pitter patter. Deceleration close out. Okay, six of those, then have a break, do another six. Here we go. Real quick, quick off the blocks and then quickly slow down. I'm gonna do three on each leg. Here comes my trainer. Three on each leg. So that's three on my right, now I'm gonna do three on my left. So left, I've got my left leg back, the left arm forward, so I'm throwing right arm forward as I throw left knee forward. Three on each leg. Hi, Jared. Um, I finished. Yeah. Good job, mate. All right. Enjoy your day. I'll see you next week. You too. I'll see you next week. See ya. Thank you. Good work. Keep working, guys. So we should be doing two sets. I've just finished one. Remember, it's not a race. Especially you young fellas seem to think it's a race. Gotta take a breather. So we're gonna have at least 30 seconds break here. It's not, it's not one set of 12, two sets of six. It's important we let our body recover a little bit. Good job, Cody. <clears throat> if you wonder why I'm off to the side here, I'm watching you guys on the laptop down here. So that's, that's why I'm down here on my knees. There's a bigger screen. Good, Jesse.
Stay low, make sure we don't lunge out at the end, make sure we come to those pitter patter, pitter patter stops. We've all played plenty of basketball now, we know how to, we know how to make the close out. That close out, that's essentially, that's what we're working on here as well, that deceleration. <coughs> Good work guys. Good, throw those arms, Zach. Good work, guys. Once we're finished with that, and you've had a quick break, had a drink, okay, we're into, we're into our box drop landing. So we're gonna do three sets of four of these. If you've got something to hop off, you're not jumping, off a box, okay, but if you've got, I'll use my step here, if you guys can see the drop off here in my lounge room, I'm not sure we can see Luna there. <laughs> there she is, just chewing away on her rope. You might be able to see the step there. Oh no, you can't really see it, I'll put it over here. Okay, there's the step. Okay, so I'm gonna drop off that step. If I wanna use a step or something, I'm just going my right foot, hanging it off the edge of the step, down into my drop landing. Okay. All right, so we've got three sets of four. So I would do I'd do two on my right, like so I'd step off with my right for two, come into that drop landing, then I'd just step off with my left. Okay, so notice I'm not jumping off, guys. Right? So That's not a jump into a landing. Just a gentle step off, okay? We're still just building up things here today. So just step off, come down into that squat. Momentum is really important in this movement as well. It's not, it's, it's not landing stiff-legged. You should be landing and smoothly lowering your body to the ground, absorbing, absorbing that impact, absorbing that energy. If you don't have a step, if you don't have a step, you're up on your tippy toes, arms up overhead, up on your tippy toes, and you're just swinging your arms back and through and coming explosively into that stop. So we've got three, three sets of four. All right, three sets of four. Make sure you have at least 20 to 30 seconds in between sets, okay? I'm gonna do one set, and I'm gonna come and watch, hopefully I'll catch your third set for most of you guys because we've been doing this whole time. So arms up high on my tippy toes, swing through, nice soft landing into that full squat straight back. Good guys. Good job. All right, let's see that form. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't jump from that high. Who's that up there on the steps? <laughs> Good job. Good mate. Up on your toes and swing through and land. Good. Keep knees apart. Jesse off the couch. I like it. Good job, Chase. It's a good step. Good work. Watch out for watch out for the bulldogs, Abe. Eh? Good. Try not to come down too low, Zay. We don't want to come down into a full squat with hips below your waist. You just want to come down to a nice soft squat. Good work, guys. Good job. So three sets of four. Perfect, Cody. That's a great landing. Girl, Cody. Great landing. Chase has got the footy out. It's a perfect day for it. All right, three sets of four. Keep working on that, guys. Once, you're, once you've done your three sets of four, we're gonna do our box jump. Okay, if you don't have a box to jump up onto, it's just a squat jump. All right, so again, for most of us, it's just going to be a squat jump. So what we're focusing on here with this movement is just explosive off the ground, okay? So I don't wanna see us resetting too much. But what I mean by that is, uh, and we've got three sets of four, so the next two exercises are three sets of four as well. 
So what I mean by not resetting too much, when you go up, so you swing through, you've got your, you sit back into your hips and knees, and you go up. I don't want to see you re fully reset and come right back down low. Okay, we're into week three. Second time we've done this now. Let's really work on reducing that reaction time off the ground. Okay, so we want to reduce the time on the ground. If you are jumping up to a box, don't worry about making it reactive. Okay, you just take off, stick the landing on the box. Everyone else is reactive on the ground, so it'll look like this. So try and get them in, get up off the ground, get as high as you can, as quickly as you possibly can. Good, Cody. Awesome. That's it. Piper and Jonty, get into it. Good work. Where's Cody going? Cook Brecky. <laughs> Good work. Oh, no. There he is. Got another one. He's reappeared. So three sets of these guys. Make sure we're just we're not just going through the motions here either. Okay, really try and exploit off the ground, get up as high as you possibly can. Yeah, the way you execute these these exercises will determine whether or not we get improvement out of it, or whether we just tick another box for the day. Okay, we just want to tick a box for the day and say, yep, yep, did that session with Jared, great. But if we want actual improvement, focus on the focus on the technique. Put maximum effort into each rep. <clears throat> Job, John T. Job, Jess. It's a bit hard up onto the couch, mate. You're doing well. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I love the couch, Jesse. If you've got another set, mate, maybe do one just on the ground because it's really hard to stick the landing up on that couch. It's probably good for an unstable surface just to work on it, but just be careful. It looks like you, looks like you might go uh, A over T there, mate, and come backwards off the couch. <laughs> oh, I appreciate your effort, though. Zave, same to you if you were going to jump up on that couch. Don't know about that. Big Dan might not be happy with that. It looks like a real nice couch, mate. Be careful. <clears throat> good job, guys. Keep working. Matty, you've disappeared. Oh, you were doing a good job. I don't know where, you, where you've gone. A few weed picks in between sets. So we've got three sets of four guys. Once we're finished with that, we're doing our horizontal jump. So we're, we're, we're going long, we're going across the room. Same thing again, we're really trying to explode out here. So this is really great for our sprint takeoff. I've talked about it before. So the movement again, before we were really focusing on coming up and down. Really focus, <laughs> job Zach. Really focusing on up and exploding and not sticking on the ground. Now we want to go this way. Now I want to go across the screen here for you guys. I'm trying to cover as much distance across as I possibly can. <clears throat> Three sets of four. Really important we get to a point where we're sticking the landing too. So the way we stick the landing is by getting our center of gravity low and by making sure we rock our weight back into our heels so we don't land on our toes. Okay, if you're falling forward, Chances are you're too upright, too upright, or you're trying to land too much on your toes. All right, don't worry about those two things. Worry about getting low and worry about sitting back into your squat. So I'll do four, then I'll come watch the second and, and third set for you guys. Right, that wasn't a bad one. I nearly fell forward though. So really swinging our arms. This is where you start to feel how important that arm movement for creating uh, momentum is for you, for your jumping. Uh -oh. <laughs> that got a little bit too much attention, too much noise. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Alright, sit, 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 good girl. Let me do one more. You can attack me. Good job. Okay, keep working. We've got two more sets. Sit. Sit yourself. Ah, oh, guys, good. Yeah, good job. Two more sets, maybe one, depending on how you're going. How do I get my dog to behave like yours, Chaz? Your dog's just chilling there watching you do jumps. My dog's trying to kill me. 
What's your secret? Come on, man. Good guy, that's good. All right, so we've got our skater jumps and then we're gonna finish with some skipping. Make really good time here, guys. Again, remember you can do this program. This program is available on the same link you used to visit the, the session. So the actual PDF of the program, if you guys want to go back and do it, um, what are we doing at Monday? You could probably do it again Wednesday um, or even maybe Friday, depending on what else you're up to. Same with the strength session. We do that Tuesday, Thursday. You could do the plyo session twice a week as well if you wanted to. <clears throat> All right, so skater jumps. For those that are ready, everyone else have a breather. You've just finished your third set of the uh, broad jumps. So we're doing, again, we're doing three sets of, three sets of 10, sorry, or four sets of 10, I think. No, three sets of 10. So with this, that's five on each leg. So 10, five either way. Uh, so the first set, I want you to stick, okay? Just humor me. First set, I want you to stick the landing. So if I'm on my left leg, there's one on my right. I'm gonna walk back to my left, push out of that hip. There's two on my left. All right, so I'm gonna do five from left to right, five from right to left. Then the next two sets can be continuous, right? So the, the second and third set, you can go boom, boom, boom. First set, just work on sticking that landing, sitting down into that single leg squat, balancing, coming to that set landing. Uh, there's four, you guys can get started. Again, especially when we're sticking the landing, the beauty of sticking the landing is, Zach, if you, you're already doing your continuous ones, mate, have you done a stick the landing set yet? Gotta stick the landing for a set before we can go continuous. So the beauty of the stick the landing is we can really focus on exploding on that first one. When we're doing continuous, we're not really, we're not really uh, getting the full movement laterally. When we stick, I can really sit into that hip and explode out as far across the screen as I possibly can. Really stick that landing, sit back into that hip, come back down into that sprinter stance. Good. Once you've done one set of the sticks, you can do two sets continuous. Good, Matty. If you're doing them continuous, really popping off the ball of your foot. So think about our box jumps when we're trying to really explode off the ground. You're really popping off the ball of that foot, sitting across. Good job, girl, Cody. Bend that knee, Zach. Sit down a bit lower. Good, good. Good job, guys. Good, Matty. Try and get down a little bit lower. Sit down into that squat a little bit more. Good job, Chase. Zay, so you're frozen. I don't know what's going on there. Good, Cody. Good, Cody. Explode out. Boy, Cody. Good job, guys. So three full sets of those. Five on each leg. So, so three sets of ten, essentially. And we're going to finish with some skipping. So with our skipping, again, if you're outside or if you've got a skipping rope, that's great. That's great. If not, that's okay as well. If not, we're going to do four sets of 60. We're not going to do six sets of 60. Do four sets of 60. If anyone's got to go, if you've got to go to school, take off. I won't be offended. All right, 60. Chuck my timer on. So, <clears throat> four sets of 60 seconds skipping. I'm just gonna do pogo hops, okay? So I'm just on the spot, bouncing on the ball of my feet. You guys can mix it up. You can go, you can add a lateral, right? So you can go two foot hop, add a little bit of lateral movement. You can maybe mix it up and go forward and back. Okay, or you can alternate. So start left leg forward, right foot back, and alternate. Okay, if you want to do all four of those, that's great. I might do all four of those, okay? Here we go, three, two, 
One, let's go. We're skipping. If you've got the skipping rope, remember just nice gentle movements with your wrists. Okay, so we're not swinging our arms. Just a little gentle. Let the rope do the work. Otherwise, you're with me. Balls of your feet. Heels aren't hitting the ground. We're just keeping our ankles and our calves nice and flexible and powerful. Good, guys. Here we go. That's 30 seconds. Halfway through our first set. Keep working. Good job, guys. 15 seconds. Keep working. Stay bouncy. Stay bouncy. Five, four, three, two, and rest. I'll have about 20 seconds rest. And our next set, I'm going to go lateral, all right? So imaginary line here. I'm going lateral hops over the line. So I'm shifting my hips, shifting my, uh, my feet out, outside of my center of gravity. Okay, second set, we're going for a minute. So a little bit of overload this week, a little bit of hard work to finish off. Three, two, one, here we go. Explode across, bouncing off the ball of your feet. If you're using a skipping rope, you don't have to do the laterals. If you're using a skipping rope to stay stationary, little gentle wrist movements. Depending on how good you are at skipping, you might want to mix it up. Add a second jump in between. Try some double unders. Get creative. Here we go. That's 30 seconds. Keep working from the balls of our feet. Push through it. We're building up that muscular endurance in our ankles and our feet. Especially like me if you if you bare feet. Good job, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, good job. Another breather. Calves are starting to feel it a little bit. Next one, we're going forward and back. Forward and back on the next one. Here we go. Let's get it started in three, two, one. Here we go, forward and back. So now I'm shifting my weight forward, having a bounce forward and back. Good job, guys. See you all working. Keep going. Keep going. If you've got that skipping rope, that's great. Girl, Cody, Zach, looks like you've got one as well. Forward and back. Stay on the balls of your feet. Good job, both your feet. That's 30 seconds down. Here we go, another 30, we're nearly done. Keep working. Should be getting the heart rate up a bit now, definitely. Heart rate up. Good fast speed there. Who's that? Zave. Good job, Zave. Good fast speed. I like it. Speed it up if you can. We've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. One set to go. One set of 60 and we finish. We'll stretch it out. Cut. It'll be a beautiful day to go today, guys. Once you get all your schoolwork done, get outside, play around. Get outside, kick the footy. Whatever you got to do, play some soccer. If you got a brother or sister, play one-on-one. -on -one. You know the usual spiel. Get out and compete. Get out and have fun. All right, so now I'm going alternating. So I'm going one foot forward, one foot back. I'm going to start with my right foot forward. Three, two, one. Here we go. So alternate. You can pump your arms as well if you like. If you're not skipping. So I'm going alternate. Still on the balls of my feet. So it's like a funny little dance on the spot. I'm staying on the balls of my feet. I'm still bouncing up much as I'm shifting my feet back and forth. I've got a soft knee, okay, so my knees aren't stiff. Okay, I'm still just 
Working on my footwork. Here we go. That's 30 down. Keep working. Finish off strong. Speed it up a little bit. Get your heart rate up before we cool down. Good job. 10 seconds. Finish off strong. Speed it up if you can. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Awesome. Great session. If you've got to go, if you've got school starting 8.39, go have breakfast, go. If you want to do a quick foam roll, grab your foam roller. So I'm always glued first. See ya. See you later. Always glued first. Right glute. So right ankle up on left leg. Get right into there. Five rolls back and forth. Let's try and slow our breathing down. Control our breathing a little bit. <sighs> left leg, left glute. Swap it over, so I've got left ankle on right knee now. Gentle roll back and forth. Great work today, guys. Do our third week. So don't forget those girls. If there's any girls still in the session tonight, there's a session tonight at 5 p.m. with Kira Rowe. She recently signed with Sydney Uni Flames in the WNBL, Australian representative. She's an absolute superstar. She's taking the girls only training with me tonight. She'll be great. Uh, we're onto our ITV. If Luna lets me. Onto our ITV. So roll inside of our knee. Body. She's still in that puppy biting phase. Hey, listen up. So, side of our knee all the way up to our hip. Five on either side. Listen up. Listen up. Uh, that's not enough. She reckons. Good job. Right on my left leg. Oh, I'm tackled. I'm in this. I'm going to just finish up, mate. Yes. Please. Uh, left leg. Sit. 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 Good girl. Stay there. Good girl. Oh, she didn't like that. Left leg, and then we're going to do our calves quickly and finish off with a little bit of dynamic stretching. Hey, Luna. Luna. <laughs> All right, over onto our calves. Over onto our calves. The only thing I've got working for me to get rid of her is she's scared of the foam roller. Oh, yeah, you know that, Jack. Yeah, full of foam roller. Oh, what's that? You can do it uh, back and forth on our calves. Oh. <laughs> I like to stack my feet. Use Luna as a bit of extra resistance. Hey, sit. Sit. Good girl, stay. Yeah, no. uh, stack my calves, so put one foot on top of the other to do each calf, add a little bit of resistance. Let's just get some quick calf pumps in to finish off. So again, we're using the wall, we've got both feet back. And we're just pumping one calf, bending one knee and then the other. Uh, you guys can stretch out your quads if you need to. Depending on how you're feeling, grab a quick quad stretch, five seconds on either side. And then we're done, guys. Great work today, really good session. Bit of an overload week, okay? In terms of the, the reps and sets, don't forget our session tonight. We've got another strength and conditioning tomorrow night, Thursday night. You've got Hoops Fit with Cassie again Wednesday. Uh, and train with me on Friday this week for everyone. We'll be, uh, we'll be with Lockie Barker. So a really good group this week. You've got Kira tonight, one of our senior women's players, NBA, WNBL player. And then Friday night, you've got Lockie Barker. So. 
good crew. Um, stay active, get outside and enjoy this sunshine and um, I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. See ya. See you guys. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. See you later.